So a manometer, uh, what is a simple manometer? A manometer is a device. Barometer is used to find the pressure of atmosphere and manometer is used to find pressure of the gas in the container. So if you want to find the atmospheric pressure, we use a mercury barometer. And if you want to find the gas pressure, the pressure of the gas inside a container or a flask or a vessel, we use the manometer. And this is also called a manometer or you can also say a U-shaped manometer. What it consists of, a U-shaped manometer consists of a U-shaped tube which is open from one end and connected to a gas at other. So how it works, like example here we have a gas jar. So there is a jar or a gas jar and other side it is open and it is filled with a liquid. The liquid here can be a mercury, it can be alcohol, it can be even water. Water can be used, mercury can be used or even alcohol can also be used. So any liquid can be used here but for a barometer it is specifically mercury. Why we don't use water or alcohol because it can evaporate. That's why we don't use in a barometer water or alcohol. But here it is. It can be water. It can be mercury. It can be alcohol. So this is a U-shaped manometer. So there's a gas inside the jar. How we can use this device to measure the pressure so actually there are two pressure, there are three pressures. So there are three pressures. Number one, there's a pressure of the gas from the left hand side. The gas is exerting pressure from the left hand side. Number two, this, because this side is open, so if this side is open, what is there? There is an atmosphere, air is present. So because of this atmosphere, there is a pressure of atmosphere from the right hand side. And because of the difference in the level of the liquid, there is a difference in the liquid level because one side the liquid is below, means liquid level is lower than the other side. So there is a pressure of the liquid from the right hand side. So we can say there's an atmospheric pressure, pressure of atmosphere, I'm writing PA. There's a pressure of the liquid from the right hand side and there's a pressure of the gas from the left hand side. If the mercury or alcohol or water is stopped at this point, so if it does not move, it stops. So what we can say, we can say pressure of the gas is equals to pressure of atmosphere plus pressure of the liquid. Is it clear? This equation, how I form this equation. Because on the left hand side, there is a gas inside the jar. And this gas is exerting pressure from the left hand side. So from the left hand side, there is a pressure from the gas. From the right hand side, 
it is open completely to the atmosphere so atmosphere air particles are hitting also so these air particles is exerting pressure on the water surface or a liquid surface it can be mercury or alcohol and there is also due to the difference in the level of the liquid the liquid is also applying a pressure from the right hand side so we can say the pressure from the left if the mercury or water or alcohol stop between the two limbs so we can say the pressure of the gas is equals to pressure of atmosphere pre plus pressure of the liquid is it clear this concept the equation part as well so when we compare yeah how the equation is formed as you can see there is a gas there are the gas particle exerting pressure from the left hand side there are the air particles which are exerting the downward pressure from the right hand side as well as there is a liquid the difference in the level of the liquid there is also pressure from the liquid so we can say the pressure from the liquid plus pressure of atmosphere this total pressure from liquid and atmosphere is equals to pressure of the gas or we can also say the gas pressure is more than atmosphere because gas pressure is the sum of atmosphere and liquid or gas pressure is higher so whenever the gas pressure is higher when we check the level of the manometer the side where the gas connect is connected the gas container is connected that level will be below the liquid level will be lower and the side where it is open to atmosphere that level will be higher so it shows that the manometer the the gas which is present is it the in the container is exerting a higher pressure as compared to atmosphere there is also a second case for a, using a manometer it might be in this manner so when we have example a manometer connected in this manner to a gas uh, container so example on the left hand side there is a gas container so gas is there on the left hand side uh, these uh, black dots are representing the gas particles and the red dots are representing the air particles and it is filled with a liquid the liquid can be mercury it can be alcohol it can be water what is the effect of using different liquid that we'll discuss at the last but first thing is you should understand what is manometer and then we'll discuss what are the factors which will affect the pressure so example when you read the level it appear to be like this so in this and it is stops so the level of the mercury in this time uh, the level of the liquid in the manometer it is like this 
on the left hand limb it is higher than on the right hand side now again there are three pressures what are the three pressures there is a pressure of the gas from the left hand side then due to the difference in the level there is a pressure of liquid this time the liquid pressure is from the left hand side because on the left hand side it is higher so it means the more pressure of a liquid is there from the left hand side and there is a pressure of atmosphere from the right hand side so when we write the equation this is a pressure of a gas this is a pressure of liquid and on the right hand side there is a pressure of atmosphere so what we can say what will be the equation on the left hand side there is a pressure of a gas plus there is a pressure of liquid and on the right hand side there is a pressure of atmosphere so if we want the pressure of the liquid so pressure uh, if we want the pressure of a gas so pressure of a gas is equals to pressure of atmosphere minus the pressure of liquid so when the level of the mercury or level of the liquid is higher on the side where we connect a gas so this shows that the gas pressure is less than atmospheric pressure or gas is exerting lower pressure than atmospheric pressure is it clear yeah in this this means that the pressure of the gas is too low that that uh, compared to the atmosphere that's why the side where the gas container is connected that is higher as compared to a side where atmosphere is connected means atmosphere is exerting more pressure or higher pressure than the gas is it clear to everyone that the second i uh, case for a manometer the equation as well as you can see the gas and liquid are exerting pressure on the left to balance the pressure of atmosphere from the right hand side or if we need a gas pressure so the liquid pressure will move other side so atmosphere minus liquid will be equal to the gas pressure and the third case the third case when the levels are same from both side in a manometer so when the levels are same from both sides like you use a liquid but the liquid level is same there is no difference in the level so if the liquid levels are same both side what we can say or what we can conclude we can say in this case that the pressure of the gas is equals to the pressure of atmosphere so the gas pressure and atmospheric pressure are same if the two levels are same but if one of the level is higher than the other like example if i this level is higher then what we say will say gas is exerting more pressure but other side level is higher then we say the atmosphere is exerting there is a pressure of the liquid abdullah there is a pressure of liquid but both side the liquid is applying same pressure you can see both side the liquid is at the same height so pressure applied by liquid from the left hand side is matches with the pressure applied by liquid from the right hand side so liquid pressure does not contribute to anything it is same from both sides so how we read this manometer a device as you can see on your screen this is a manometer so what 
we can conclude from this manometer the pressure of the gas supply it is more than atmosphere or less than atmosphere what about the gas supply pressure is it higher above the atmosphere or below the atmosphere if it is more than atmosphere we'll say above the atmosphere yes abdullah khan heather only i can see your response so i want everyone to respond the chat is only visible to me so when you check the gas particles these are the gas particles and on the right hand side you have air particles so you can clearly see because the gas is pushing it harder or exerting more pressure that's why the level of the liquid from the gas side is lower as compared to a level of the liquid on the atmosphere side so we can say the pressure of the gas is more than atmospheric pressure or we can say the pressure of gas is above the atmosphere so you can use these two statements it is above the atmosphere or it is more than atmosphere then how we can calculate how we can calculate or how to write the equation we can say the pressure of the gas which is on the left hand side from the left hand side balances with the pressure of atmosphere and the pressure of the liquid and so it is equals to pressure of the atmosphere i am writing apa plus pressure of the liquid pl what is the pressure of atmosphere normal atmospheric pressure is 1 atm or 100000 pascal so it is 100000 pascal you have to memorize this value for the normal atmospheric pressure it is 100000 pascal we assume it is at sea level then what about the pressure of the liquid the pressure of the liquid is density of the liquid multiplied by gravity multiplied by depth so pressure of the gas is equals to 100000 pascal plus density of the liquid example the liquid we are using here is a mercury so density of the mercury is 13600 so density is 13600 gravity is 10 and what about the depth the depth means the difference in the level of a manometer so what is the difference in the level on the left hand side it is lower and on the right hand side it is higher so the difference in the level this is starting from 30 and ending at 60 so the difference in the level is 30 mm or 0.03 m whenever we substitute we should always use or substitute in meter so it is 30 mm or 0.03 m so it will be 0.03 when we calculate the pressure of the gas it is 100000 plus so we always take a difference in the level because the liquid is exerting pressure why we are not taking from zero when you check this part so why we are not taking it from zero why we are taking the difference look the liquid is applying pressure from here from the left hand side and the liquid is applying pressure from the right hand side as well but what is the resultant pressure what is the result of these two pressure the result of these two pressure is this side only because liquid applying pressure from left liquid applying pressure from right so what is the result of these two pressure the result of these two pressure is only on this side that's why whenever we are taking a manometer we don't take the full level we take the difference in the level the level of the mercury or a liquid in both container the difference so it is starting from 30 and ending at 60 so it is 60 30 mm or 
so when we multiply 13600 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 0 0.03 that is equals to 4080 when we add 100000 so it will come out the pressure of the gas is equals to 104000 and 80 pascal is it clear this working the calculation how we worked out to everyone any doubt abdullah freen alia basira heather shazeb isra So the difference in the level will give us the pressure of the liquid and pressure of liquid plus atmosphere will get the final result. Then what is the effect of using a dense liquid effect of density on a manometer? So what is the effect of uh, density of liquid used in manometer? Like example, we have two identical manometers. We have two same manometers. Which are having a same thickness. But we are using two different uh, liquids inside the manometer. So two manometers are their example same size in one manometer we are using and we connect the same uh, gas is at same pressure the pressure of the gas is same so both containers have the identical gas the first one uh, the liquid which we are using that is mercury and the second one, we are using a low density liquid example, alcohol is there. Uh, density of a mercury is 13,600 kilogram per meter cube. Density of alcohol, uh, different alcohols have different densities example. This is 800 kilogram per meter cube, which is low density. So what will be the effect of using a dense liquid? So if you are using a dense liquid, because dense liquid are difficult to move, so the difference in the level will be smaller but if you use a low density liquid in a container we are using a low density liquid so what we'll observe we'll observe that because low density liquid easy to push easy to exert pressure move easily that's why the difference in the level will be higher so if you are using a mercury this high difference will be smaller if you are using a low density liquid such as alcohol or water, the difference in the level will be higher. Is it clear? The concept that what is the effect of using type of a liquid in a manometer? If it is a dense liquid, then the difference will be lower, the difference in the liquid level.
and if it is low density liquid the difference in the level will be it will be higher the final answer will be same the final result will be same but the different the height levels are different because what happened when you are calculating a pressure of the mercury it is dense when you are calculating a pressure of the liquid that is density into gravity into depth so mercury is having a greater depth but it will have a smaller uh, mercury is having a greater density but will have a smaller height when you work out for alcohol Alco alcohol density is lower but the depth the height level will be higher so when you multiply them the final resultant pressure the final pressure of the liquid will be same but the depths will be different here density is higher depth is smaller but here density is lower and depth is higher so result the multiplication the final answer will be same by both liquids but when we are using a denser liquid the difference in the level is smaller as compared to when we use a low density liquid is it clear what is the effect of density on the depth then there is also another thing the size of a manometer the size of manometer also affect the result like example if we use a wider manometer which is having more greater area and we use a narrow manometer and we are using the same liquid so liquid does not change we are using the same liquid like example here we are using alcohol here also we are using alcohol so the liquid which we are using is not changed the gas is the, in the container that we are using that is also the same identical gas is there so the gas container is same but here we are using a wider nano manometer and the other case we are using a narrow manometer so what will be the difference here if we use a wider manometer then the level of the liquid the liquid will not rise too much in both limbs the level of the liquid will be lower and if we use a wider uh, if we use a narrow manometer then the level of the liquid in both limbs will be higher but the difference in the level this h will not change like here if this h the difference in the level example if it is 8 cm this will also be 8 cm the difference in the level because the difference in the level depends on the type of a liquid and pressure of the gas so difference in the level will remain same the only thing what happen 
the liquid of the level in both limbs will be higher in narrow manometers. So when we are changing the type of a manometer, the difference in the level will remain same, but in narrow manometer, the level of liquid will be higher in both limbs. So what happened, as you can see, if we use a wider narrow uh, manometer, the level is lower in both limbs, difference in the height is eight. But when we are using a narrow manometer, the level in the both limbs are higher is higher, but the difference in the level is same. Why the difference in the level is same? Because difference in the level depends on the type of the liquid we use and the pressure of the gas and atmosphere. It does not depend on the size of the manometer. Is it clear this concept? Any question or doubt related to this part? Is it clear to everyone? Now we'll do some questions related to manometer. Okay. In this one, in question seven, a manometer is used to measure the pressure of a gas supply. As we know, a manometer is a device which is used to find the pressure exerted by the gas or gas present inside a cylinder. Which change give the greater value of H? Greater value of H means like we want a greater difference We want a greater difference in the level they're asking for difference. So if we use low density liquid, as we discussed, like if we use mercury, if you use alcohol or water, if density of the liquid uses lower density, then the difference in the level will be the value of the edge, the difference in the level will be higher. That's why A is a right answer. If you use more dense liquid, then the edge will decrease. If you use a narrow or a wider tube, just now we discussed that the size of the tube does not, it affect the if it does not affect the difference in the level, so this H will remain same. Even I use a narrow tube or I use a wider tube, the H will remain same. The only thing what will happen or what will be the difference if we are using a wider tube, manometer and we use a narrow tube manometer, So if you are using a wider, the levels in both limbs will be lower, like this level H. But the value of the H, the difference in the level will be same. What does it mean? Like example, this level is lower on the right hand side is also lower. But when we calculate a difference in the level or value of H, example H is coming out 10 centimeter. So if you use the same for a same gas supply, if we are using a narrow manometer, then the level of the liquid in both limbs will rise. But the difference in the level will not change because that depends on the pressure of the gas. So that will not change. 
the difference in the level in both lengths will be same so it will be same as 10 centimeter so they are asking the difference which give the greater value of h h means the difference in the level so the difference in the level depends on the density of the liquid used if we use more dense liquid the h will be smaller if we use less dense liquid h will be higher and if we change the size of the tube h will not change so it remains same if we are using even a wider or a narrow manometer question 9 is a barometer which height is used to measure the atmospheric pressure basically we assume the pressure of the atmosphere is equals to pressure of the liquid so which height we use a b c or d to measure the pressure exerted by this liquid which matches with the pressure of atmosphere so that is c the difference in the level that's right The diagram shows a manometer containing a liquid. The manometer is used to find the difference between the pressure of a gas and atmosphere. So basically, as you can see, the gas is applying more pressure. So pressure of the gas, the right hand side is the pressure of atmosphere and the pressure of liquid. So we can say the pressure of a gas is equal to pressure of atmosphere plus pressure of liquid or the pressure of gas is equal to pressure of atmosphere plus liquid. So which height is used to get the difference in the pressure or pressure of gas minus pressure of atmosphere. So that is C, correct. A manometer is connected to a gas supply. The gas there is a gas leakage. So gas leakage means the pressure of the gas will decrease. If the pressure of the gas will decrease, what happened to level P and what happened to level Q? The gas pressure pressure exerted by the gas is decreasing. So if gas is exerting less pressure, the P will rise. So there will be in level will increase and the level Q will decrease. Is it clear? So this is about the manometer. Uh, so almost this part is done about the pressure. In the next session, we'll discuss how hydraulic brakes, hydraulic lifts work. Any question related to the class? So the next session, we will discuss the hydraulic brakes and hydraulic lifts. So I'll end the session and share this recording with you.